I found that the only place where I can really use this stool comfortably is here at the lathe. And this is mainly why I made it. I made it so that I could sit down while I'm here for a long period of time. And uh, it's uh, got the seat adjusted as high as it will go. And when I'm upright like this, I'm about as high as I would be uh, if I was standing. It's, it's just, just about the perfect height. And uh, I can move it around like so. And the, the wheels move quite easily, so I can sort of, with not a whole lot of effort, move myself around. As long as there isn't something on the floor that's going to trip up the wheels. Like an inch of shavings. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the update on, this, on the stool here. Uh, and, and when I'm actually facing the lathe, it's uh, pretty much the right height for holding the tool. Anyway, that's not what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to do something a little different in the metal room. And, uh, well, I got it over there on the table, so we'll go take a look. I'll show you what I'm up to. Don't watch. Okay, I'm off. When I got this pressure pot, oh, going on two years ago now, a friend of mine made it up for me. And I wanted to try it out and see how good it worked. So I made this makeshift base for it and uh, just scrapped, slapped together. And the idea is I wanted to be able to use it when it's laying flat like it is now or when it's like this. Now, when it's like this, I do have to be careful that I don't accidentally uh, spill whatever's in there because then it's going to get into my gauge here. So I'm probably going to remove this and switch. Uh, that's the plan. But I, I want to uh, make something up out of metal and get rid of this uh, makeshift stand that I've got here. Uh, and besides, it's, uh, it's not very tight. I can accidentally move it when I'm tightening up the whatever you call this. Anyway, uh, so that's what I'm going to start on today. And uh, once I know the dimensions of it, for instance, ex it's exactly three and a half inches in diameter on the outside, and uh, I know that it's from from the back to right here it's uh, 12 and 1 quarter inches. Uh, I know we're, we're supposed to be metric but uh, as I've said before I think the old way. Inches, feet, yards, miles, Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Hard to teach an old dog new tricks. Anyway Let's get at this and see what we can do today. As I did with the shop stool, I want to make sure I've got everything drawn out to the fraction of an inch. And that way I can just go ahead and cut up all the parts and then weld everything together. And it'll fit. Anyway, I guess tomorrow we'll be cutting and welding. <laughs> 